Hey guys, uh, Adrian here. Welcome to a new video. Today I wanted to talk about how to keep yourself occupied uh, as a creative during this whole situation that's going on right now in the world. One of the things I've been asking myself for the last week, uh, because it has been quite difficult over here in Sydney, it's been raining uh, almost for the whole week now, and it's been hard to get out and shoot things, and you know, with everything going on, it's becoming a little bit more difficult. And so one of the things I've been kind of working on and just realizing is just setting some simple goals that you can do around the house as a creative. And when I say creative, I'm talking about, you know, filmmakers, photographers, writers, um, you know, bloggers, uh, e even artists, painters, whatever the case is, anything that's, that's got to do with creativeness, uh, you can be considered in this in this area. Something I've been doing as a photographer and a filmmaker is I've been actually reviewing um, old footage that I have on my hard drives and I've been going through it I've been actually you know I, I normally keep all my rules and you know uh, my, my video files and I've been re-editing some of them uh, going back and seeing what I did two three years ago and then uh, re-editing them now and to see how different they are you know just keeping myself busy and you know constantly updating my portfolio with you know my new edits my new work whatever the situation is another idea that i had in mind was just reading books i've started to read a little bit more now i'm currently reading a, a book called um the giant within awaken the giant within by tony robbins uh, it's a fantastic book i highly recommend it but you know you can read any kind of book just reading about 15 to 20 pages a day just to keep your mind stimulated and you know just keep keep at it uh exercise is another big one i know it's very easy to kind of lose motivation uh during this stage i know for a fact that i have Sometimes I get really lazy and I don't want to do anything. It's just um, there isn't enough kind of motivation to push yourself to do it. But as I've always said, I, I think when you don't want to do it, it's especially when you should be doing it, now, especially when you don't feel like it. That's when you purposely should go out and make it happen. It's the best time to do it. So exercise, like I actually have a couple of dumbbells uh, that sit right by me and I use them. You don't necessarily have to go to the gym. You can do calisthenics, uh, you know, push-ups, sit-ups whatever the case is, make use of your space and, you know, use your own body as weights. Another thing I've really started to like and enjoy lately is uh, journaling. But rather than journaling the, the typical kind of sense of, you know, writing down in a book, I've been actually journaling like this through video interaction, just recording myself and talking about my day, uh, you know, sort of my plans for the next, like, you know, month, next, next year, where I want to kind of be. And it's a great way to look back and reflect I think writing is uh, is another great method, but for me at the very least, I find video to be a lot a lot more welcoming. I'm a more visual person in that sense, so I find video just works to a better degree for me. Uh, you know, I'm not necessarily a painter, but I, I find painting to be a very, uh, very peaceful, a lot of fun, especially like, you know, if you need to, you know, to, to use up a couple of hours, I find, I think painting is a great way. You can go into, like, depending where you are. Just one of your cheap uh, dollar shops or whatnot. Get yourself a couple canvases, get some paint, and just spend the day. You know, maybe watching some Rick Ross videos or you know whatever you guys like, and just paint away. You know, let that creativeness kind of spur out. And you can always do other things like you know, look at your space in your room and see if there's some something you can film. Maybe do like a little short film. You know, like in isolation something to do with that doesn't matter what it is at least you're practicing and constantly growing the idea is if you're locked away at home how do you maximize your time maybe even watching tutorials learning new methods photoshop lightroom after effects whatever it is that you need to practice on start watching more uh, more, more tutorials learn the techniques this is your chance to really master it while you have this opportunity and you're making the most out of it while you're home uh, so these are just some ideas and I know for the most part they seem really common and really simple but it's very easy to pass by and forget them at times especially during this stage everyone's a little bit more angst up some people are a little bit more introverted now some people are just kind of staying away from everyone but as a creative it's so important you keep your juices flowing you keep at it just keep pushing and don't stop guys that's the most important thing because when we go back to normal are you going to be ready? That's the question. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. More videos are coming soon. Catch you guys in the next one.